Yo, what's good, everybody? My name is Joey, and today I'm about to walk y'all through my process of making this One Piece hoodie. So I just basically finished the first season of One Piece. They don't grill me because I'm late. I know I'm late, but don't worry about it. I'm watching it now. It's going to be two parts, okay? First part is I'm going to show y'all how to make the DST file on Chroma. Chroma, if you don't know, Chroma is the embroidery software that you get when you have a Recoma machine. So they give you the option if you want to learn how to digitize yourself or like outsource, like, you know, hire other people to do it. I didn't want to hire other people to do it because, you know, it's a lot of money, right? I'm gonna show y'all, you know, how I do it. Basically, uh, yeah, let's go. My heart is telling me to go with the original flag logo. Not the nice one, not the one that Usape made. I'm talking about the one Luffy made when he first presented it. Talk about this one right here. So we're gonna replicate that one. I'm gonna take that design and remake it. So here it is. I'm just gonna uh, save that image to downloads. Okay. I already got Chroma up and running. Okay. Let's take y'all through this process, man. Hopefully my camera doesn't die out on me. All right, don't act stupid now. So yeah, here we go. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat and I'm going to auto digitize it because it gave you the option. Uh, I don't need all these colors. So I'm just gonna go with this, this, don't need that. Red, yellow, black, and white, yeah. Loki don't even need the black for real, for real. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. You got the whole thing. I don't want the whole thing. Uh, nah, I don't like that. So we're just gonna we're just gonna remake it ourselves. So delete, delete all that. Delete all that. Let me maximize my screen so we can get full effect. Boom. Okay. So I just maximized my whole screen. Ooh. All right. So we're just gonna go ahead. I mean, it's a lot of white space. I don't feel like doing a complex fill with all this white space. So I'm gonna save myself the time and effort. I'm gonna go over here to this run stitch, right? Let's start in the middle. So we'll start with the face. Now, you gotta hold your command key as you create these nodes because the command key is what's gonna give you the flexibility to make curved lines, right? You gotta make curved lines. That's 99% of all this process. Now, I'm not an expert. So I'm picking up as I'm going. Pretty certain there may be an easier way to do what I'm doing, but just started this like five months ago. We're going with the flow of things. So, all right, <sighs> MacBook dying. Trying to make content for the people. And the battery's dying. Plug it in. Cue the sound. Okay, all right, hold on. Boom, we're gonna convert this. Convert this to an applique, right? I don't want a satin stitch applique. So I'm gonna go with Tackle Twill. Now you may be asking me why I'm gonna go with Tackle Twill. Uh, hmm, do I wanna go with Tackle Twill? Nah, I don't think I wanna go with Tackle Twill either. Let's go back to satin, see what that look like. But it's too big, so we're gonna go two. I'm gonna make my thread a little, a little denser. It just looks like it creates more so we're just gonna go with that. All right, yeah, that's the first one. First applique. Uh, all right, we're gonna keep going. See, this ain't really cutting out the way I wanted to. Look, we're gonna start over. We're gonna make this a run applique, okay? Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I got it, I got it. I know what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Sorry, we're just gonna, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is this, right? We're gonna make this whole, oh, all right. My thing died on me. I'm trying to vlog. It's a vlogging camera. Don't turn off. Anyway, all right, we're gonna go around here, going around here. Boom. Okay, we got the bottom part. I'll, I'll change the colors later. We're gonna do this bottom right bone. Again, y'all can't see, but I'm holding down my command key to be able to do this. All right, okay, boom, boom. Shout out to Royal Crown on the beanies. With the satin lining you're not on the wave get on it creating complex not complex but we're creating appliques because and you know this design is like it's naturally like, like luffy can't draw so i'm not trying to be perfect i don't need to be perfect with like all my whatever i just don't need to it's unnecessary so we changed all that <clears throat> there are run stitches right now i'm gonna convert that to 
applique stitches. Then we're gonna switch the type of applique to hey, don't go wait, 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 where are you going? For real. Run. So if I take that away, you know, we got the general idea of it. Now I'm gonna work on this hat. Okay, so we're gonna switch the colors. We're gonna go gold. Alright, for this, I ain't gonna cap. We're gonna do a complex fill. It's too thin for applique. We're not we're not putting we're not doing that. We're just gonna make this a complex fill. Complex fills to just look kind of tight. Hey, this stuff's pretty straightforward, bro. If you feel like you can't do this, uh, change your feelings because you can definitely do this. I've only been doing this for five months, like I said, and I've just been looking at YouTube videos, the people that's on there. It's a few people on there. I wish I knew them by name, but I don't. I would shout them out, but I can't. I know Willie's one of them, but he work at Rakoma, so he don't count. He actually works for them. I'm talking about people who don't work for them, that's trying to get involved with it, but feel like they can't, feel like it's too hard, feel like they, they're not a professional. Hey, F all that, because we making it happen, okay? I didn't change the colors, but it doesn't matter. We can change the color like that. Boom. All right, look, it be just like that, but we getting somewhere, right? We getting somewhere. It's that easy, okay? I'm going to bring this back up. So to take the make the picture go away, I'm doing Command-B. So I'll probably pop it up, but Command-B. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, now we're going to do another complex fill for these eyeballs. So we're gonna do like this, we're gonna do like this. We're just making a circle. Like I told y'all, command, boom, makes the circles. Sometimes I forget to change the color, but it's okay. I swear it's okay, because you can do it later. All right, I'm gonna do it now so y'all see. All right, so we're doing this, we're doing this. Okay, here goes the second eyeball. We are done with that. We're gonna do the, the nose. Bow, bow, bow. Alright, we take we take a take a moment to analyze. We have we got the hat. My camera dot my camera got too hot and cut off on me. So I just had to watch a video on how to prevent that. So I can finish this video. Alright, so alright, we back. Hopefully I can finish this. I only got one thing left. And that is just to make these black outlines everywhere. But it's gonna be on a black hoodie. So I don't really think I need to do it. I'm gonna make the teeth though, cause the teeth is important. And for those, I'm going to do a, I'm gonna do a satin stitch. Actually, I'm not doing a satin stitch. I'm gonna do a run stitch and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do a lot. Watch, watch what I'm gonna do. It's gonna come out dope either way. All right, got the first line. That extends a little bit. You gotta do it exactly how it is, bro. Okay. Got these. They're already black. Convert to steel stitches. With, with, right here. Two, it's too big. We're gonna do one and a half. One and a half works. Boom. All right, so, I mean, shoot. That's basically it. Like I said, I'm not really a professional, but that's kind of the design. Anything else, I mean, it's going on a black hoodie, so I guess I could do that white outline around everything, but for the most part, yeah, I don't want to do that. It's going on a black hoodie, so perhaps I can. I can hear the sounds of violence long before it begins. Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to copy and paste, right? And then I'm gonna try something real quick. I'm gonna convert this to a steel stitch. <clears throat> then I'm gonna lower the the width to one. And then I'm gonna change the color of it to black. Okay. I kind of made it pop. Where we at? Nine thousand. That's straight. That ain't bad. Oh, but I'm I'm gotta get bigger though. All right. Where we at right now? Size wise, height. That ain't, that's only four, 200, big. Now we at 23,000 stitches, that makes more sense. Do I wanna do this white outline? Don't need to. I might do the white outline. I might. Let me just play with it, let me see what it look like. All right, so we're gonna start here. We're just gonna trace, we're just gonna trace the outline of the design because it got it. So let's just see what it looks like. If it don't, if it don't look good, we just delete. We don't want making it. So it's up to us what we want, what we don't want. I want to put a white outline on it. That's just what I want to do. Okay. Like I said, 
I'm gonna do like a two piecer. First piece, I'm gonna just upload this showing y'all how to make the design. I think that's what I might do for the tube. I might like show y'all how I make the design so y'all can like see the process. Cause that's how I learned. I watched other people and I saw the buttons that they pressed and I saw the things that they did. I'm a visual learner. I'm not an auditory, more kinesthetic. I need to do it with my hands and I'm a visual learner. If you're not showing me, you're wasting your time because I'm not, my brain don't learn that way. Describe to me how to do it. Not working out, bro. It's not working out. Okay, I mean, hey, probably clean it up some, but for the most part, I mean, shoot. That's, that's it right there. Probably, probably gonna rock with that. And then from here, you will just do little things. Like, I don't like, I don't like to trim the little lines. So I'm going to tell the machine to trim on its own. I don't want to do it. it. Takes too much time trying to trim the little bits. Let's, let's, let's bring it to the true size that I wanted at. I wanted at 200 millimeters. So rule of thumb, 25 millimeters equals one inch. So if you could just do math, then you know, 25, 50, 75, 100, that's four inches. Eight inches down, so eight. So just do the math 200. Okay, now from here, from here, I would just clean it up because Luffy can't draw, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But I don't like that being a little too close right there, so I'm gonna just move that like that. I don't even like that being too close right there. I at least want it to be a little symmetrical. All right, yeah, we in there, we in there, okay, and yeah, I mean, bro, just like that. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. That's all I'm going to do is just clean it up. Once I clean it up, it will be Gucci. If there's people out there that want to do this but feel like they can't because it's too hard, well, I'm here to show you that you can do this, buddy. You can do it because it costs too much money to keep hiring somebody to do it. Like, you can hire somebody like me to do it, but I'd rather show you how to do it. Like, I'm not trying to, like, not make myself money, but if you're going to do this business, imagine, imagine having to, like, hit me up again on some stuff like, bro, I need a resize and I'm busy working on another job. And I'm like, bro, I don't got time to do that. So you need it. And I'm like, well, if you need it right now, yeah, I'll shoot you a expedited fee and I'll stop what I'm doing so that I can help you out. Like, or you could just learn it. Like, it's really that simple. Oh, boom, look, just like that. We got our season one hoodie design. Monkey D. Luffy's first attempt at making his pirate flag now i'm gonna just transfer this over to my machine and i'm gonna make the hoodie so appreciate y'all for watching this uh i'm gonna do some more videos like this for y'all like i said uh i'm not about to gatekeep i'm gonna show y'all how to do this because in less than six months i was able to you know really get to a point where i didn't think i was able to so uh yeah appreciate you watching I ain't gonna tell you to do a bunch of stuff, like subscribe and stuff, because, I mean, you do it if you want. If you don't want to do it, fine, whatever. But, yeah, if you like the video, uh, stay tuned for more, because I'm gonna have more for y'all. Uh, if you have any requests, just let me know. Maybe, uh, you never know. I'm still young, so I still see all the comments and stuff. So, if, if I get big and I can't see the comments no more, then, then you missed out. But, if you want me to do a custom, slide in the comments, and I'll read it, I'll reply, and I'll look out. All right. It's your boy Joey. Uh, yeah, that's it.